So, Mr. Hunter, do you think I was wrong to run that drill? Not necessarily, sir. Do you think I got that man killed? No, sir. One thing had nothing to do with the other. It was an accident. Would you have run the drill? No, sir, I would not. Why not? The fire in the galley could have flared back up. I would have seen to it first, sir. I'm sure you would have. Me, on the other hand, I tend to think that that's the best time to run a drill. Confusion on a ship is nothing to fear. It should be taken advantage of. Lest you forget, Mr. Hunter, we are a ship of war, designed for battle. You don't just fight battles when everything is hunky-dory. What'd you think, son? I was just some crazy old coot putting everyone in harm's way as I yelled, Yee-haw! That was not my first thought, sir. But there's no excuse. At the time I was fighting the fire in the galley, I did not agree with your call, sir. Take a seat. So we understand each other. I don't have any problems with questions or doubts. As I said to you before, I'm not seeking a company of kiss asses. But you got something to say to me, you say it in private. And if privacy doesn't permit itself, then you bite your fucking tongue. Are we clear about that, Commander? Has a bell, sir. Those sailors out there are just boys. Boys who are training to do a terrible and unthinkable thing. If that ever occurs, the only reassurance they'll have that they're doing the proper thing is going to derive from their unqualified belief in the unified chain of command. That means we don't question each other's motives in front of the crew. It means we don't undermine each other. It means in a missile drill, they hear your voice right after mine without hesitation. Do you agree with that policy, sailor? Absolutely, sir. We're here to preserve democracy, not to practice it. There'll be a memorial service in the enlisted men's mess at 1100 hours. Go see you. Aye, sir. Oh, Hunter. Short of the outbreak of World War III, the ship sinking, being attacked by a giant octopus, I'd like to be undisturbed for the next 30 minutes. I'll see to it, sir. By the way, it was Marichek's 300 pounds that killed him. Not the fire. Dismissed.